Hi, welcome back. This is Arish from JetTechnews.com. This is a video series on Google Maps API. In this video, we will have a look at bounds and we will create multiple markers and we will use bounds to make sure all the markers are within the visible area of the map. When we look at a map, we can get details about what is the current coordinate that is currently visible. We can get information about what is the north east coordinate, the corner and the southwest corner coordinate. Let's look at the code. From our first video, we know how to create simple map. We define a div and we create a map object by passing the div reference and some options for map. Let me add a div to display the bounds information. To get maps bounds information, we need to listen to an event called bounds changed. We can listen to event by using add listener and specify the map object and the event needs to be that we need to listen to. And finally we need to pass the function that needs to be called when the event is triggered. Within this function, I can get the details about bonds using map.getBonds. To get the northeast values, I can use bonds.getNorthEast. And to get the southwest, we can use bonds.getSouthwest. To display the information, I will create a simple HTML string. We say northeast, the I'll display the coordinates. There is a line break. Similarly, append the details about southwest. Display the coordinates. Finally, add these details into the div. Save the file and Let's reload the page. We can see the information here about the northeast coordinates and the southwest corner coordinates. When we pan the map, these bounds also change and we can see the values changing. And when a user zooms in the map, even then the bounds are changed. Since we are listening to an event called bounds changed, whenever the visible area is changed, this event is triggered. We can not only read the information about the bounds, we can also dynamically set it. That is, we can specify to the map saying, these are the coordinates that needs to be visible in the area. Let's look at an example by creating multiple markers. And, and make sure all the markers are visible within the map. To create multiple locations, I will create an array called locations and add some entries to this. I will add a JSON object here. I will say name, city, or name of the city. I will add Las Vegas. And the second object will be lat long object. provide the coordinates for Las Vegas. I will add couple of more locations. I will add California and provide the latitude values for this and the longitude. And I will add uh, New York. If you are wondering how I got these coordinate values, there is an API in that's provided by Google to get the information about a particular location. You just specify the address 
and Google returns the response with all these latitude, longitude value information. That's called Geocode, Geocode API. Let me show you an example. This is the API we can use. We can specify the address. Say I'll say Mexico. And for Mexico, it returns all the values, the lat long, and the bounds of the for bounds for Mexico. So we can use this. I use this to get the information of lat long. We can programmatically use this. We will see that in later videos. Coming back to the code, we have created the array. Next, we'll iterate through the array and create markers. To create a marker object, we need to pass a few parameters to marker object. The first is the position, that's a lat long object. We already have this in array, so I'll just pick that up. And the second is the reference to the map, and third is the optional title. We can use the name that we provided in our array. Okay, so we created a marker for all these locations. Let's reload the page and see how it looks. We can see California and Las Vegas markers. There is another marker for New York that we can see only when we pan the map. When we initially load the page, the New York marker is not visible. We can use bonds to specify to the map that all these coordinates needs to be within the visible area. To do that, we need to create an object called bounds that is google.maps.latlongbounds and into this object we can add multiple coordinates and we can specify these coordinates needs to be always visible. We can do that using bounds.extend and specify the coordinates. This is a coordinate object, lat long object. And finally, this bonds information needs to be passed to the map. We can do that using map dot fit bonds and specify the bonds. So all the latitude longitude we provided will be fit within the visible area of the map. Now let's reload the page. As we can see, all the three markers are visible. Maps will automatically change the zoom value to make sure all these are visible. Let's add another location. Let's add Mexico. I will get the latitude longitude values. I will first create another location and copy this latitude and get the longitude value. and change the name to Mexico. Save and let's reload our map. Now we can see all the four markers are visible. Google Maps, maps when we call this fit bounds, it has make sure all the markers are visible within the display area. To recap, today we looked at bounds on how to get the coordinates of the northeast and the southwest coordinates and we also looked how we can use bounds to make sure particular coordinates or is always visible within the map. Thank you for watching. For more video, please visit jtechnics.com.